Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wayne. I'm filled with appreciation and just want to pass that on to all of my viewers and followers. Uh, this is the first month that I will, the videos that I create will create some sort of revenue for me. And uh, so I'm very excited and I couldn't be here without you to co-create these readings, without your support, without all your supportive comments, likes, shares, follows. So I'm just, I'm very appreciative because this is, um, this is what I do. This is my job full time. And so I love being supported. <laughs> I love being paid for my labor and I really appreciate that and I appreciate those who have sent me thanks um, so I can be supported as well so wonderful I'm just so appreciative and I love that what I do um, and where I can be the most myself um, is welcome <laughs> is, is appreciated <laughs> so yeah thank you i love this so let's collaborate and co-create another amazing reading so let's get to it thank you again all right this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest if you'd like a personal reading, there's the link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right. The overall energy of this reading is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotional overwhelm. The first thing I'm getting is um, a lot of times... I notice when I am feeling emotionally overwhelmed, I have too much energy in my space that's not mine. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to change someone else's energy in my space instead of working with my energy. This I might be talking with someone who's an empath highly sensitive person feels like um, this is a great asking questions what's what energy is mine and what energy is not mine yeah there's a, a lot of healing right now going on with the four of swords a time of recuperation, of rest. Ooh, interesting message. I'm getting that when you discern and separate energetic separations, I'm getting a psychic tool. Would you like to learn a psychic tool? It's not the way but it is a way of separating out energies i use it on the day-to-day -to, -day to help me find refine myself again and again so all right let's switch into a psychic tool if you're interested um if you're in a place where you can sit down and safely close your eyes um, and go within then join me I'm going so when you close your eyes bring your consciousness to the center of your head between your ears and behind your eyes and clear out that head space imagine taking a broom and clearing out cobwebs clearing out if there's anyone in there in your center of head space clear that out that also can cause overwhelm, even though I'm perceiving more emotional overwhelm. Having others in your center of headspace, you don't want that. That's your space. 
claim that space. It's your captain's chair. So making it someplace comfortable where you want to be, where you want to embody and be in that center of headspace, making decisions from that space. Nice. Okay, from that center of headspace, imagine out in front of you a balloon, just floating, a balloon, and that balloon, balloon represents someone who you've been obsessing about, thinking about, someone who, whose energy is in your space. Imagine a giant magnet inside that balloon and that magnet with intention is just going to pull all of their energy out of your space and into that balloon in front of you. You don't have to do it. You're just watching it with the intentions, watching that balloon get larger and larger. Just noticing where the energy is coming from in your space. Um, just watching that balloon getting larger and larger. Maybe now it's the size of a hot air balloon. Maybe now it's the size of um, the moon. There's so much of someone else's energy in your space. And once that balloon is completely full, then just imagine exploding that balloon and allowing that energy to go back to its owner. So you can repeat this. You can create as many balloons with as many magnets inside and pull out people's energy. You can pull out um, entities, religions. You can pull out that energy from your space so you can separate from it. And then to bring your energy back Imagining a golden sun over your head and inside that golden sun you're going to put a giant magnet and with intentions this magnet is going to unscatter your energy, bringing all your energy back from that person who you've been constantly thinking about from wherever you've left your energy in the past, in the future. All we have is right now, so unscattering and watching. Your only job is just to watch. Allow your own energy to come back to you. Watch as that golden sun gets larger and larger. It's the size of an elephant. It's the size of a house. You're bringing back all of your energy. Nice. And then whatever you need add that like a little dash <laughs> of what you need today support guidance peace clarity and when you're ready pop that golden sun and allow all of your own energy to come back in and fill in anywhere you've released filling in wherever you have need even the cells of your body, imagining all the trillions of cells of your body opening up and absorbing your own energy. And you can even take some of that beautiful energy now in your psychic hands and imagine throwing some of that light on the path in front of you for the day so you can continue to meet yourself during your day. So, and when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes and stretch and take a deep breath and come back into this room and this reading. So, curious if you enjoyed the psychic tools um, for today. I think that I use those tools daily. I use them after readings, after I do these group readings after I do individual readings so everybody can go away without cords without attachments without need 
so you can take the information or leave it and go freely so all right the hidden blessings is the six of wands in reverse a lack of public success interesting I love this. All right, so where's the hidden blessing in a lack of success? Okay. In the past, it feels like you were in a very unhappy environment, chronic unhappiness. I think you were tuned into this potential of success, but not in the environment you were in because the environment you were in, this is the sun card, but it's not very happy. It's not very sunshiny versus a more typical version of the sun card with a, a child and a horse, wild abandoned sun. This feels like in the past, your inner child did not feel free to be happy, to be themselves. It feels like someone was guarding, keeping your inner child, it feels like keeping you away from your happiness. The environment you were in in the past where there was a lack of success chronically, a lack of happiness chronically, was an environment where your inner child was not safe. And I get the feeling that the you weren't able to reap the success that you were pulling it, wanting to pull in and inviting in until you got out of that environment. There's something here about there's, um, they just can't perceive you they, in this old environment. They can't, um, they can't really perceive who you are because the, in this environment, you, they, the people in this past environment projected and um, projected onto you who you are. And it feels like you're fighting with your projection, those projections. Yeah, this is, um, I'm getting that the more you remove yourself from that energy, the faster things move. The more you disentangle yourself, the more you create energetic separations from anybody who is not safe for your inner child to come out and play. Anyone who wants to own you, that might be part of it. There's some type of, of boxing you in and owning uh, of energy. And I think what you're wanting to create for yourself is for some something with freedom. And it, whatever you were wanting, you couldn't have it in that environment. So what you're leaving behind is the Empress. Interesting creative abundant why is that leaving behind let's i feel like we're not leaving behind goddess energy or divine feminine there we go you're leaving behind Oh, you're leaving behind this uh, dependent aspect, this um, a lot of beliefs around your lack, around you needing, you needing others, needing 
It's not that um, others aren't part of your experience, but there's something about the intention of needing others, not feeling like you can do it on your own. It feels like you're also leaving behind pre-empress status. It's time to step into your divine feminine to create, to allow what you're wanting, wanting to create. Feels like you've been suppressing in an environment that's very suppressive to your inner child, to the full expression of your self. You're leaving behind a lack of energy, a lack of passion, a lack of desire. You're leaving behind a lot of, of reckless people who don't want to change, who don't, who are stuck in a, a pattern and are not interested in adventuring to new beliefs. So it feels like you're leaving a lot of limitation behind your own limitations. I think you're also leaving behind um, not recognizing your own divine feminine qualities playing small playing small to appease small people this isn't egoic about i'm big and small it's just recognizing uh environments where you're not successful and instead of blaming it on the others being like you know this is not working this is not the environment for me. I, I have to play such a small version of myself. My inner child is not free, is not safe in this environment. And so it looks like you are creating a world that you prefer and you're leaving behind what you've learned does not work for you. Wow, all right. How to get the most of this energy is the Fool card. This feels like a trust fall. It feels like trusting this new cycle, this new beginning it feels unfamiliar, but it feels like um, you finished with a, a lot of transforming, a lot of, it feels like you've had a death and rebirth. Right now, I'm so at first I started with these feelings, these messages of overwhelm. Mm -hmm. And now it feels like it's a challenge to face your own fears. It feels like you're getting to the, the point in your story where you're recognizing whatever happened outside of you was happening for you so you could find find your inner strength so you could learn discipline and focus and understanding what's going on with you conquering your own demons so you can better navigate your world. It feels like there might be a lot of fears coming up, a lot of worries coming up because this is new. This is unfamiliar territory. I'm getting that you can experience this new territory as terrifying or adventurous. Uh, it reminds me of a, a movie Steve Martin was in a long time ago. Keanu Reeves was in this movie too. I forget what the name of the movie was, but uh, very much around family and raising kids and the antics there. And the Steve Martin and his wife were talking about their relationship and 
she was saying that he, you know, life is a roller coaster. It has ups and downs, and you can experience that as terrifying and grasping and, and resisting the ups and downs and what's happening and, and not enjoy the ride. That's up to you. Or you can get used to the ride, understand the ride, understand that it's all happening for you, and, and figure out how to enjoy it instead of needing it to be different so it would be more comfortable how it feels like you're asking questions how can i enjoy this how can i enjoy each moment how can i savor and get you know each bite of life each present moment that we're in how can i savor and delight and appreciate every aspect of it so all right, uh, that's how to get the most of this energy is it's an adventure. How can I enjoy this, this moment more? How can I bring enjoyment into it consciously to create a, a path, a, a habit, a pattern of looking for how I enjoy things? how to get the most out of them instead of feeling victimized by them, wishing things would be different. All right, what's supporting you is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Communication, like unwanted communication. Okay, unwanted communication. It feels like I don't want to hear this or I don't like who's who this is coming from. It feels like what I'm getting here is there's this history of people being able to come in and sabotage with just words, be able to... Mm. come into your energy and project say something to stop you from going after what you want sabotage um you can't do this you're limited nobody else has done that why do you think you can it feels like someone who's very negative they don't like that you're trying they don't like that you are succeeding they don't it feels like um there are people around you or at least a person who benefits from you staying small and unhealed and it looks like going forward there's this realization, why would I, I allow what they're saying to block me? Their perception of me is about them. If you feel it as a block, like, you know, they're showing you where you might have resistance. So uh, it feels like a win-win if someone does come in with some type of painful, limiting communication. It feels like this person just, um, whatever this communication is, you're steady. You're moving forward. I almost get this feeling like uh, just listening to what they're saying they think they're talking about you but it feels like you're not receiving it you're perceiving wow this this is about them this is about them trying to control their environment trying to make it more comfortable it it feels like um feels like you, you're not vulnerable to uh, these type of messages. 
it might activate in your system for a little bit until you find that energy and say, yeah, I'm, I am not that. That is yours. All right, moving on. What to be mindful of is the hermit in reverse. So the hermit card, the hermit has climbed these very steep mountains by themselves. They've had to go on a journey alone. And by taking this journey, by a willingness to accept this part of the journey alone, they find their own answers, their enlightenment at the top of that mountain. And so I feel like you've done that and it's now your opportunity to, to come down from that isolation and share what you've learned about your experience. What, what have you learned? What do you want to share with others? Feels like you climbed that mountain a very different person than the person who's coming down from that mountain. You're different from the inside out. It looks like, um, it feels like you took a lot of your frustration and unresolved parts of yourself up the, that mountain. Feels like you were, one of the lessons you were learning while you were hermiting has been creating healthy boundaries, speaking the truth instead of uncomfortable truths instead of comfortable lies. You also learned how to not separate from yourself the parts that others can't have. Instead of making yourself small, smaller, separating yourself from people who want to keep you contained in, because they benefit from your playing small. It looks like you've worked with attachment issues, maybe some addictions, and it looks like you're focusing on your future and what you're creating and the abundance. It feels like um, you're coming down from that isolation, from that space and creating a, a sanctuary for yourself and others. Feels like you're very focused on this new beginning. So, all right, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.